All right, gang, I'm going to start this during a replay, so don't worry, this isn't the match that you clicked on. Uh, this is Asura Gisho getting his Kachikoshi uh, against uh, Shima Zumi. Uh, the rookie could have gotten uh, his 10th win here, double-digit wins, and perhaps an 11th tomorrow, uh, which would probably ensure him a Fighting Spirit prize, the Kanto Show. But he lost here to the veteran and Sudagisho, uh, Kachikoshi for him, important, uh, obviously at Maigashira 11 for him to start going up the Bonsuke instead of down. So he is now 8 and 6, and <clears throat> Shimazumi is 9 and 5. Still can get a 10th win tomorrow, but lately that hasn't been enough sometimes for a special fighting spirit prize. Uh, they want kind of beyond 10, it seems like. All right, here's the match you clicked on and the information that I have to share with you about uh, uh, Takata Fuji, which uh, I didn't know this until uh, somebody mentioned it in uh, one of the videos. Uh, and I, w I think I was looking up records about Tamawashi, and I saw his name on a, um, on a list that Tamawashi's on in on Wikipedia in the Sumo Record Holders list. And somebody mentioned that he got Make Koshi, uh, Takata Fuji. He's currently 5-8, and eight, and they were upset because that means he'll probably go down to Jurio. Currently, he's uh, ranked at Maigashira 16, so just one above the lowest rank in the top division. And with a 5-8 and eight record, even if, even if he wins and goes to 7-8, and eight, it's, 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 it's hard to say, but uh, he definitely needs to win today and tomorrow if he has any chance. But the interesting thing when you look him up um, is that from January of 2013, guys, 2013, okay, until this January of 2024, and so that's 11 years, 66 tournaments, if you count this tournament and take out the one tournament in the COVID era that got canceled uh, uh, right around the tsunami, and, and uh, no, that was 2011, sorry. Uh, the, the COVID cancellation in 2020. Still 66 tournaments, and he's never pulled out with an injury, and he's never gone down to Jurio. He's just been incredibly consistent, and uh, he's been as high as Sekewake in his career. He did that in September of 2016. Uh, he's only ever gotten more than 10 wins once, in that 11-year period, he got an 11-4 and record once in 2013. Um, and then everything other than that has been 8 wins, 9 wins, 10 wins. Um, of course, he's had losing records, and he's gone up and down the Bonzake a lot, but he's never gone down to Jurio. So on Wikipedia, he's on a list called the Most Consecutive Top Division Victories, or Wins. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, it's not even wins. Go, man. It's most consecutive top division matches or bouts at 986. So he's number five on that list, and he's two ahead of Tamawashi, believe it or not. He made his debut in the top division back in July of 2011, and then he was 24 years old then, and there he is on screen now. And he... <clears throat> Uh, you know, went went down to Jurio a few times, but since January of 2013, only the top division for this man never has pulled out of a tournament. Okay, here we go. His opponent today is Oho. Come on, Takara Fuji! うわ Oho already has his Kachikoshi, he's 8 and 5. Come on, Takata Fuji! Get him, get him! Oh no! No! Ah. 
Okay, well, there was hope that if he could go seven and eight, you know, he's currently five and eight, uh, that he there was a chance that he could have stayed in the top division. But now, with that ninth loss, the best he can hope for is six and nine by winning tomorrow. And a six and nine at my guess, you're a, a 16 is generally demotion, you know, almost every time. And, uh, you know, this might signal retirement for him. Maybe that'll be the thing, you know. He is uh, 37, uh, but he's obviously, you know, seen Tamawashi keep going. He has a Kimboshi, a gold star victory against every Yokozuna practically, Hakuho, Kakiru, Kiseno Sato. He beat them all in his time. The only person he, he doesn't have a Kimboshi against is Terano Fuji, but that's because they're in the same stable. They're both Isigahama Bea, so they never fight each other in the regular matches. Um, so he's a stable mate with Midori Fuji and a bunch of other guys, but there it is, five and nine. So I just found that really interesting, and it's just a guy that, you know, you, I've probably said his name a thousand times, it feels like, uh, over the past ten years on my channel, and uh, maybe finally going down to Jurio after over almost a thousand matches in a row in the top division. So uh, I'll keep an eye on that and I'll let you know in the wrap up uh, what the prognosis is. Okay, come on back. More sumo to come.